we'd like to share our thoughts on what's happened so far, starting with the quarterback competition that isn't a competition that might be a competition now. <laughs> Kyle Shanahan said there's no competition, and it's true. Trey Lance hasn't played against the starting defense or with the starting offensive line, but he's playing very well, and uh, it's interesting. It start like the first thing we were talking, we were hearing is that Jimmy Garoppolo has improved. Well, through four days, he looks like Jimmy Garoppolo still. We know what that is, but we're getting to know what Trey Lance is. And you know that thing what Bill Walsh used to say, increasing the limit of the offense? He does that. How? Well, he throws outside the numbers. He throws down the field. He runs. I, I've noticed that he's more decisive than Jimmy Garoppolo. He goes through his progressions at a faster pace than Jimmy who gets stuck. Uh, he, he throws the ball so hard that even if he does throw a risky pass, defensive players usually can't catch it. He's extremely impressive. So nothing against Jimmy Garoppolo. He's continuing to be the quarterback he's always been, but this new guy is a lot of fun to watch. And I, I think he's the most gifted quarterback I've ever seen on a 49ers practice field. And I think if you ask Matt Mayoko, Matt Barrows, they would be saying the same thing too. Iggy, has Trey Lance won the starting job yet? No. Why not? It's only been four practices. They haven't put on pads yet. If he could go tomorrow and throw four interceptions and then be back at square one. But so far, he's had four good practices in a row. And Jimmy Garoppolo really did not play well yesterday. So um, I think it's becoming, if it wasn't a quarterback competition already, it's becoming one. And I think he may have earned reps with the starters now. We still have our bet who's going to be the starter on day one. I say Jimmy. And I think there are lots of issues. If if Jimmy isn't the starter, they have to trade him. Mm -hmm. You can't have him on the team if he's not the starter. Do you think still that Trey Lance will be the starter on day one? I do think he will be the starter. I think he's a better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo. Nothing against Jimmy. But when you the, the argument against playing young quarterbacks is like, well, they're going to make too many mistakes, right? They don't really know what they're doing. They're going to make – Jimmy makes mistakes. Jimmy does that. I mean – he is a bad decision maker. He goes through his progressions too slowly. He throws interceptions and doesn't throw deep or move. It seems like even a rookie Trey Lance, who's going to make his own mistakes, who's far from perfect, is still a better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo. That's what I think I'm seeing. Okay. And you're there and I'm not. You know, it, it'll be very interesting to see Trey Lance when there's a full-on pass rush and blitzing Absolutely. and things like that. And the point is we have no idea – I mean, you can't say, oh, he'll be great. We don't know. And, and, and that's a big unknown right now. I have another question. Is this – we know this is a, a quarterback competition. Is it a controversy yet? Hmm. <clears throat> um, maybe. Maybe. I don't – I don't. maybe among the fan base, but I feel like in the organization, when Jimmy Garoppolo has one of these days where he throws two interceptions, it's deflating. It's like, oh, here he goes again, you know, 30 years old, still doing stuff like this. And I think the fact that they have this guy who's 21, who's throwing 60 yard touchdown passes to Debo Samuel is uh, encouraging. And I think what's going to happen is a lot of these players are going to look at Trey Lance and say, he's going to make me better. He's going to improve my numbers. And then it won't be much of a controversy anymore. I think the, they can't say it, but they already know where this is going. And if Trey Lance looks the way he's supposed to look, they'll fall in line behind him, I think. And you think, do you think fans are in controversy mode now or they're, or they're uh, resolved that it's going to be Trey Lance? I think the fans are a little uh, in controversy mode because they haven't seen him yet. And the, a lot of fans love Jimmy Garoppolo because the Niners were terrible for a lot of years. And even Kyle Shanahan was one in 10 until Jimmy Garoppolo got here. I think a lot of people believe in him. And I think the attitude is, OK, so what? The, Trey Lance is playing better than him in practice. Let's see what happens in a real game because Jimmy Garoppolo. So I feel like it's a quarterback competition, but it, there's a, a little bit of an attitude like nothing Trey Lance does matters because it's just practice and nothing Jimmy does matters because it's just practice. So there's still a lot of pressure on Trey Lance and we'll see if he can clear enough hurdles and impress enough in practice to get a job week one. Okay. Another question. Kyle Shanahan in the first news conference, I guess it was last Monday said there is no quarterback controversy Jimmy is the starting quarterback. Now, I'm going to call that a fib. I'm not going to say it's an outright lie. Iggy, it's a fib. I mean, you know what he did? 
he he always uses the phrase right now, which like gives him an out. Like it's not a quarterback competition right now. Technically, that's true, but it could be one tomorrow. Yeah. I think he's starting to earn it. He's I think he's probably exceeding expectations. He's a rookie who is hasn't thrown an interception yet and has a higher completion percentage than Jimmy Garoppolo, plus he runs. I think they're starting to think, wow, he's more ready than we thought he was. Maybe we should give him some looks against the starting defense and see if it's all a mirage. Because technically, to be fair, he hasn't faced – he's going against backup defensive players. So maybe maybe his task is easier than Jimmy's. My question is about Shanahan, not yes. about the kid. My question is, I think he fibbed. Fair. Himself and I think he fibbed. I think yes. there clearly is I agree. quarterback competition because they get pretty much equal reps. It's true. Okay. I don't I don't blame him for fibbing. Do you? No, absolutely not. It's the right thing to do. Why is it the right thing to do? Because they're also trying to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. And by saying that there's no quarterback competition, that creates the impression that Jimmy Garoppolo is doing great and they yes. really believe in him. And the jo- the Niners' job right now is to play dumb and pretend that Jimmy Garoppolo is the greatest quarterback of all time and they have 100% belief in him. I agree. So it's there's a lot more going into this, what he said about no competition. Also, it takes a little pressure off the rookie. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But if you remember, like early on, the whole thing it, it down there was don't talk about Trey Lance. It's not really his job yet. He's the future. Let's not talk about Trey Lance. It's all about Jimmy. And then Jimmy has this two interception day. And instead of coming down hard on Jimmy, it's, hey, isn't that Trey Lance really great, though? You know what I'm saying? Like that's how Trey Lance could become the starter is if Jimmy keeps doing stuff like this. And that's the thing about Jimmy. I've he always does stuff like this. He does it in practices. He does it in games. It's who he is. And I guess he there's nothing to be ashamed of. He's a good quarterback. But this guy, again, I'm I'm comparing him to like Colin Kaepernick. He's way better. He doesn't run all the time. He's very he actually plays the position quite maturely. It's you would have. I wish you could be there with me, Dad. Wish you could see this. It's a lot of fun. Iggy, I have another question. They bring <coughs> players to the big auditorium. Yes. To talk to you. Have they brought Jimmy? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's his attitude? Talk to me. He's totally different. In the past, he used to have this attitude like, uh, I want to say, you know, I want to please Jed York, Kyle Shanahan, Bill Belichick. I want to say nothing, be very bland, corporate. Uh, now he comes out and I, he curses. Oh. He said the F word in it, like on the, on the thing. It didn't even, he wasn't like, oh, excuse me. He just, dropped an f bomb and uh and said shit too which is fine but it's like wow i've this is totally out of character so i don't know what it is if he's talked about it with his agent like hey show it an edge to your personality or this is who yes. he was all the time but he's finally i think he stopped he stopped trying to please all the people that he feels have thrown him under the bus and now he's just gonna go out and be himself got it so he may feel pissed yeah i would imagine is that what you're getting i would imagine yes when people ask him about Trey Lance, what does he say? Oh, he's quite gracious. Really good kid. Uh, I'm trying to help him as much as I can, that kind of stuff. I see. He's he's showing that he's a, he's a good teammate. Whether yeah. or not that's true, I don't know. I, I mean, right. I don't know about things That's like his that. image that he's trying to portray, yes. Yeah. Has, <laughs> excuse me. Has Trey Lance come in the room? Yes. What's he like? He's – Okay. Um, he's very nice. He's very respectful. He's 21 and he's trying to say the right thing and he races through his answers. So he's not like Kaepernick where he's like hostile. He's definitely not hostile. He's, but he's, he's trying his best to say nothing and be, and say the right things. He's trying to say the right things and he races through his answers and he doesn't say anything interesting. Whereas he got Jimmy being interesting right now. So right now I prefer to interview Jimmy Garoppolo. It's kind of funny. That's the way it goes, though. Every 21-year-old quarterback who's trying to win a starting uh, job is kind of bland and buttoned up. Races through his answers. You mean like a speed talker? Yeah, like he's a little nervous. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. It's like, okay, slow down. Slow down. Why don't you take 20 seconds, take 30 seconds. But that's okay. Has anyone said that to him? Slow down? No, no. I almost felt like doing it. Like last time it was people were trying so hard to get anything interesting out of him and it's like he was in the zone, you know, like, nope, not going to go for that, not going to go for that, not going to go for that. But in a very respectful way, he's not hostile. I like him. He's okay. just in a tough position. You know, it's interesting. On on the field, he plays offense, but in the room, he plays defense. He does. Right? He does. He does. Whereas That's how he, quarterbacks often are. But Jimmy's now playing offense. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. 
I would love to be there to hear that stuff. Yeah, That's Jimmy, kind of stuff Jimmy's that like the best interview on the team right now. He's very interesting. We're, we're learning about Jimmy, and Trey is like, you don't get to learn about me yet. I'm just trying to be the perfect quarterback. Yeah. Trying to do great things. I understand. I understand. We'll probably get to know Trey Lance when he's 28. Biggie, I got to tell you, I mean, I, I'm not a fan, I, but I guess my heart's with Jimmy. I'd like to see the uh, old, quote-unquote, old guy at least make a fight of it. I would like to see that, you know? I would like to also, and to Jimmy's credit, he's doing the best he can, but I think also to expect him to make a big leap or turn a corner or whatever metaphor you want to use is unrealistic. He'll he'll give his best, but we know what his best is. We've seen his best. Yes. Okay. Biggie, I have another question. Sure. And I'm forgetting some stuff. Um, when you interview players now, you're not allowed into the locker room. No. They bring them out. Mm -hmm. Iggy, is this only post-COVID or was it that way before that during training camp, they would bring certain players out, but you couldn't go in the locker room? That's how it is in training camp. Usually the, what they do in training camp is there's 90 people in there. They don't bring the media in there because there's so many people. Once they start doing cut downs and it's down to 53, then they bring us in. But I don't know if they're going to do that this year. I have no idea. They haven't okay. really said it. Iggy, when, in my day, which was a long time ago, we could go in the locker room. Mm. Iggy, mm. I think under Harbaugh we could go in the locker room. Uh, I think so, too. I remember uh, they would have all the extra lockers and they'd yeah. probably take them out. Yep, that's true. And so, look, I'm not putting down the the – 49ers PR. Believe me, I'm not. I mean, the whole league is like this. But what they do is, if they bring out certain players, they're controlling the narrative that day. That's true. That's how but, they've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. They're yeah. saying... Right about him. Right about him. No. And it also, write a nice story about him. Yeah. Because here right? he is, and, and he you got quotes from him, so say something nice. Yeah. yeah. So what you got is, you're there, Eric Branch is there, Matty Barrows is there, Matty Mayoko is there, and essentially you're all writing the same things, although you're in a different industry. I'll take you out of it. Yeah, but I definitely don't write about the players they bring to the podium. I could care less. That's right. The that's yeah. the point. Yeah. That they're trying to enforce a narrative. Newspaper people, and Matty isn't a newspaper guy, but uh, in a way Barrows is, and certainly my friend Eric Branch is, and in a way they're telling them what to write. Iggy, that would drive me out of my skull. And you don't even do it. It, it. I mean, it doesn't drive me out of my skull because I don't have to do what they want me to do. And I'll just, if they want me to write about these people, I won't write about what I want to write about. And I, it amuses me that well, they have Sometimes no control. you might want to write about who they bring in. Yeah, sometimes. But, yeah. but you don't feel obliged to. No, absolutely not. No. I set the okay. narrative down there, not them. Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, I, I got one more question before we move on because th I think there's another quarterback deal. Iggy, now Jack Hammer is down there with you. That's right. He How was down one day. He was down one day. He's going to be coming back. He, he's working on getting that uh, everyday pass, but he's he's new, but he's going to be there a lot, and he's got a full year's credential. Oh, he does have a full year credential. Yeah, I just I don't I guess like getting him started is the Niners having a little bit of an issue, but he's going to be there again on Tuesday, I think. Iggy, how does it feel to have a pal down there? Weird. Weird. I'm not right. used to it because usually I go there and don't talk. Now, do you and he watch practice together when he when was he there? was down there? Yeah, and I really it was great because I I really trust Jack Hammer, and he's probably even in his first day there, I, he probably saw more than me because he coached the sport, played the sport. I really trust his perception. It was nice. So you have really productive conversations. Did you yeah. see that, Grant? Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, and he'd be like, "See, that was that was Garoppolo's second read, or." Uh, you think stuff like that. It's like, oh, yep, good call. That was Love good. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Hold on a second. Shout out to you, Jack Hammer. Shout out, Jack Hammer. Shack, shout out to you, Jack. All right, let's answer some questions. D Duffy 777 says, hey, guys, Cones on is my favorite. Guys, are you worried that Debo being leaner, that he won't have the power he had smashing through tackles? No, he looks like he's in phenomenal shape. Don't worry about it. He looks like the best player on the team right now. Uh, I don't think he needs the extra body weight to do his thing curtis says grant sometimes football politics gets in the way and sometimes the better player does not start see example solomon thomas yeah but it's not like trey lance is a second round pick or a fifth round pick he was the third pick in the draft they traded up for him they're they're more invested in trey lance than jimmy garoppolo he's gonna get a fair shot here they're not gonna hold him down if he's ready that's all i'm saying good good point curtis uh just one more Vince says, are you excited to see Chris Bryant's debut today? You going to watch that? What? Chris Bryant's debut with the Giants. 
Absolutely not. <laughs> Raymond says, Kyle says there's no competition, but if you remember, Kittle talked about how competition is good for Jimmy. I guess the team thinks otherwise. No, uh, not the team thinks otherwise. You know what? No one thinks otherwise. There's a full-out competition. Yeah. They all think there's competition. They all know. Yeah. I mean, know. look, if if the NF, if the 49ers traded up to number three and took tight end Kyle Pitts, remember we were talking about that? Yeah. They're, I mean – there, and they said, well, there's no competition between him and uh, George Kittle. It doesn't matter what they say. They just trade it up to take someone at your position. Yeah. I think there'd be a competition. Yeah, look the best player is going to play. Iggy, look how Aaron Rodgers uh, uh, responded to them drafting a quarterback. It, Iggy, it blew his mind out of his ears. He's still not over it. He's not he'll, over it. He'll hold that grudge the rest of his life. That's right. He, he can't get over it. Right. Wow. So, of course, it, it um, Jimmy must be feeling something, and he knows the deal. And what I want is for him to play his tush off, and I want him to win the job just because. Play your tush off, Jimmy. Play your tush off. Play your tush off. Brian says, problem is that if they cut or trade Jimmy and Lance has an off game or gets hurt, then the season is in the hands of Rosen and Sudfeld. Well, that's I like why, Rosen and Sudfeld. That's why I think Jimmy should be the starter at on game one. But we've done that. 